Hi everybody, Mark here. Just wanted to take a few minutes. I'd gotten a couple of requests to show what cook kit I use. Uh, I, I was using a cook kit on that last video that I made when I went to the Adirondacks and went up into the high peaks and a couple of people were interested in what it was that I actually used so I'll go ahead and show you. So here it is. This is the cook kit that I use. Uh, everything is, is wrapped up neatly. I've got a rubber band holding it together here and then I've got my cozy and inside of the cozy is my spoon. So let's take a look at what we've got inside. So here it is. This is everything spread out on the table so you can get a good look at what it is we have. First we'll start with our batch, batch stoves 12 ounce cook pot with the lid. Uh, and the way that I've got it set up right now I've got this red band on here, the silicone band, so that I can grab it off the, off the fire if I need to. Um, but the top of that is 8 ounces, and then just about below the rim is 12 ounces. So uh, I've got a, a good way to, to measure what I've got in there. Of course, there's a rubber band. That's what I use to hold it all together. I've got my mini Bic lighter. This is a uh, Snow Peak Hot Lips, so it'll go right on the edge of the, the mug so that when I'm drinking my coffee, don't get burned. I've got a, a little children's measuring cup for um, some children's Tylenol. Uh, use that just to measure out the fuel that I'm going to be using. My stove, this is a homemade stove that I made. Uh, weighs a total of five grams, so super, super light. Probably not the most uh, indestructible out there, but it gets the job done and does what I need it to do. And then I've got my carbon felt windscreen and then uh, got this just to set the the stove on just as a little bit of an insulator from the the ground you know you've got a cold ground uh, take a little bit longer for this to to fire up the way that it's supposed to and I've got my gossamer gear bamboo spoon long handled spoon so that I can get down into those those deep bags and then uh, the cozy the pot cozy or actually the the bag cozy uh, for a, about a gallon size uh, Ziploc gets the job done. So this whole whole setup here, if we take out the, the spoon and the cozy, everything you see right here, this setup uh, is what I take when I'm going out on my my solo solo trips and it's perfect to get the job done there. Uh, and it weighs 4.1 ounces. So so this whole thing right here is 4.1 ounces. You add in the, the cozy and the spoon, uh, you add another about ounce and a half. And I've got some, some photos of it on the scale. Uh, I'll go ahead and post up in just a few minutes so that everyone will get a chance to see. Uh, you know, I could get this a little bit lower by, by probably cutting these two out, guessing with what I put in uh, on the fuel and, and just, uh, you know, sliding this silicone band up to the top and drinking that way. Uh, but, you know, for what I do, I mostly just boil water, rehydrate in the cozy, and then eat out of the Ziploc bag or the freezer bag or the bag that the dehydrated food came in. You know, I've been doing a lot of packet gourmet lately, and uh, really, it, this is the, the perfect kit for me for that. So here's a look at how it all nests together. So if we take the top off, you can see inside the carbon felt is wrapped around the outside, the stove's in the middle, measuring cup, hot lips, and then right on the outside between the felt and the, the batch stoves is the, uh, the lighter. So that all goes together perfectly. Uh, and then the rubber band goes around the outside and just secures it all. So this is my, my package, goes in the outside of one of my uh, pockets on my pack and works great. And then this, the spoon will go right back inside of the cozy, seal it up, and this goes in the mesh pack pouch out on the uh, the back of my my backpack, and you know, together everything works works great and is exactly what I need. So here's the pot with everything in it: 4.115. Uh, if we go to grams, it's 117 grams. And if we take a look at some of the individual components. Okay, got the uh, stove, uh, four, four to five grams, and then the 12 ounce 
batch stoves pot. So there you have it. This is my cook kit. You can see it's uh, it's pretty small in size, but it, it gets the job done, does exactly what I need it to do, and that's uh, that's all there is to it, really. I mean, find what works for you and, and use it. Sure, I could go a little bit lighter, uh, and I've, I've got some lighter setups, but this one happens to be the one that I've been, been doing the go-to lately. Um, you know, depending on the trip, I've got other other cook kits that I can use, just like everyone else. You know, you, you adjust it to, to what you're doing that day. So, I uh, hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if you've got any more comments. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.